I didn't look at any other schools, I'll be honest. What had actually happened is one of my friends, uh, his family owned an HVAC business, and he had went through it, and I was, I don't want to say I was down on my luck, I was a mover, I was a cashier, I did all these things, and he was like, he's like, well, what do you like? I'm like, I kind of like working with my hands, which I learned as a mover, taking apart furniture and putting it back together after we delivered it. And he was like, well, maybe we should try HVAC. And then he's like, I went to ETI, it was pretty good, man. He's like, you should go. So here I am. Um, I actually graduated from ETI in 2006. I worked a few um, regular service jobs out in the field in a van for two, three years. And then uh, I, it, it was called Sanyo back then, and they found me and they brought me in. And um, there was a lesson from my first teacher. He always said, you know, don't think you, you'll end up just in HVAC, which, you know, that the skills you can learn in HVAC can spread across so many different industries. We don't have to just be doing duct work and furnaces and stuff like that. I mean, that is the primary market of HVAC and we do need that um, because the trades are hurting these days. But, but schools like this are supporting many different industries that some people can't even imagine. A lot of it is gonna be what the students put into it, especially when you're coming to school. Take that advice about having a good attitude, wanting to cooperate and being a team player and also problem solving. Um, that's a big thing. And I, I was taught that here too. Like they, the, the job recruiters here, or what are they, the job placement people here had said, you know, go in dress nice. Make sure you carry a suit around with you because you never know when you'll get called in because in the service world, it's very, you have to be very flexible. You know, you can wear a lot of hats, you do a lot of different things. HVAC, you know, you gotta know how to mount things in wood, drywall, whatever it may be, metal. So you learn a lot and you can be put into many different industries.